Hi, my name is Mustafa Hassan. Uh, I'm a lecturer of ancient and uh, contemporary history of Egypt and the Middle East. I used to be a tour guide in Egypt for almost 20 years. I used to take people to the museums, to the uh, archaeological and historical sites, beautiful archaeological and historical sites in Egypt, and I used to show them the masterpieces of art. As you know, that the Egyptian history is a very long history, and uh, you cannot just see them in two weeks or, or, even, or even a month or even a year. So my job was to pinpoint and show them things that they cannot miss. Today I thought about uh, for starting an, uh, episodes, uh, YouTube episodes, about the masterpieces of art in the ancient Egyptian history. Things that when you visit a museum, when you visit a temple, you cannot miss. I'm going to start with the most important piece in the history of ancient Egypt. It is the Narmer Palette. The Narmer Palette is a, a commemoration. It's a piece of art. It's a small piece of stone from chest or silt stone, green chest or silt stone, very small piece. We're talking about almost two feet high and about one and a half feet width. What is this? What is the Narmer Palette? Where the Narmer Palette exists? Narmer Palette exists in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. This is how it, this is how it is displayed there in the ground floor. You know, it was the reason it is important and not because of the art in there. The art is there in, in there is very primitive, but it is because it commemorates the first time ever a, a, a battlefield shows the king unifying upper and lower Egypt and commemorating this history on a piece of stone and putting his name on the top on the facade of the uh, on the top of the uh, uh, of the piece of the art on the, in the of the palette now we're going to answer a few questions why is it why is it is important it is important because from this uh, piece of art there's a commemoration of the history starting from this time 3200 BC approximately this is the time when this piece was uh, uh, was uh, done, was made. Uh, so from there, the Egyptologists, the archaeologists, and the historians, they say, starting from this uh, uh, date, this is the first dynasty or dynasty one. Okay, this is the time when Egypt was the was unified between uh, under one king. His name is King Narmer. Okay, let's go and see what happened there. Now, it shows in one side there are two pieces of the Narmer palette. In the first, uh, uh, on the first side, it shows the king wearing the crown of Upper and Lower Egypt and is holding a mace head in his hand and is smiting his enemy. His enemy was who? His enemy was the chief of Lower Egypt. And he, you know, be below in the third, uh, on the third part, you can see two of the enemies are running away from the kings. And you can see one important thing that uh, became uh, the, the base of the Egyptian art. It is the, uh, the profiling. This is how they show the king in a big profile than anybody else in the whole scene, showing the king that he is number one person and he's the one that has victory or having victory over his enemy. You notice that the king is wearing the crown of Upper Egypt and you notice in the very top you can see the goddess Hathor, the cow goddess, a chief, a very important goddess of ancient Egypt uh, history. And in between the two, the two, the two, the representations of the cow, we can see in between. This is the name in hieroglyphic. It's called Narmer, the digger of the canal. This is what the name means. The other site, it's a commemoration. Again, it's it's the procession of the of the victory. It is a processional, uh, the, the procession of the of, of the victory. The king is here, is wearing the crown of Lower Egypt, showing that he had victory over uh, uh, the people of Lower Egypt. And you can see the flags. You can see representations of the dead people there. And in between them, can you see their heads? These are the work, the war you know, captives and some of the war, and the, the war victims from the enemies, of course. Here, underneath, you can see uh, a myth animal. And this myth animal, this is, you can see this circle. This is why this piece was called palette. Because there, in the ancient time, they used to have something like that, the same kind of piece of stone, where they used to grind the cosmetic, 
you know, uh, the cosmetic um, um, uh, fragrance there, so they can use it for uh, the ceremony or the ceremonial festivals in the temple. In the very low part of the palette, you can see a mighty bull that represents the king, and he's like uh, destroying the camp or the city of the enemy, and one of them is running away. Very simple thing, very simple piece, and it's important that we, you know, know about it because it is from there we know when the ancient Egyptian history started. Uh, finally, I would like to show you a map of ancient Egypt. Here's the map, and it shows Memphis. From here, if you draw a line, this is where it, you know, uh, it separate upper and lower Egypt. Upper Egypt is the, is the south because it's up the Nile. As you know, the river Nile is coming from the south to north, it flows from south to north. And on the north, this is starting from the delta until the city of Memphis. This is lower Egypt. The north is lower Egypt, not the opposite. Okay. Finally, if you ever go to the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, please make sure you go. When you go to the ground floor, make sure you see the Narmer palette and remember me. Okay, thank you very much. See you next episode. Bye.